this morning before um when i was setting up for this video i was like man i'm not even in the mood but the best thing is like those days when you really feel like you don't want to when you feel like just stopping and just just like giving up those are the days that are you get the best results you know but anyway that's not what the video is about so today this video is gonna be like it's gonna be like a testing new makeup type of video slash first impressions the only reason why I didn't call it full face of first impressions is because not every single um, product that I'm using today will be brand new but so I as you can see I already went ahead in my eyebrows I use my usual products for that my airwoman my Airwoman eyeliner pencil and my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. So that's what I use to get my brows done. And if you guys need a brow tutorial, one is linked down below in my description box. So we're just gonna jump on into trying new makeup. Alright, so I didn't get a new primer, but um, it doesn't really matter because I don't need to prime for today, like for right now, because I'm doing this look. For the purpose of the video because I just really want to see how these makeup um, these new makeup work you know so I got from different different brands you guys follow me on snap you have seen some of what I got already um yeah so the first thing I'm gonna go in with today is my Tarte Amazonian clay waterproof 12 hour concealer and I got this in the shade tan and now it comes in this little you know packaging like a lipsticky type of thing it says the name of the shade on the bottom there and you just pop it open like that so I'm just gonna go ahead and and looking on it right away from looking on it, it definitely looks way lighter because you guys know I, I'm really looking for something to kind of mimic the shade up um, LA Girl um, Pro Concealer and Fun. As you guys know, I use it a lot to highlight. But this is definitely lighter than that. But I'm still going to use it. Because what I'm going to do is my powders later on. I'll just use that to kind of tone it down. So, and this is a cream concealer, as you can see. And, yeah, that's the amount I'm going to go ahead and apply at a time. And I'm just using my usual um, Real Techniques blending sponge. And this is damped with water. As you guys know, I don't use foundation. Just personal preference at the moment. But it's re I really love the consistency of it. It's really thick and nice and it blends effortlessly. You know? I definitely feel like I need to go back on Tarte and get like a concealer that's probably a shade like um, darker than this or two so that you know I can use it as my everyday type of concealer I wanted to try out a powder to set my highlighted portion so I went ahead and I got the Tarte Amazon um, the Tarte smooth operator Amazonian clay tinted pressed finishing powder this is it and it says the name on the back here and it's the same shade as the concealer so this is just to set the highlight so as you can see it's the same shade but sometimes you see sometimes when you're shopping online you see matching tones your shade and those stuff or just getting the shade that you want not saying matching because I'm, I wasn't looking for a concealer that matched me I just wanted something to mimic like you know the shade of the 
fun from LA Girls. So sometimes it can be a bit tricky because sometimes it might look a little bit darker on your computer than in real life or lighter. And then when you get it, it look darker. Or when you, you get it, it look lighter. If you get what my try says. So that, that one is it. <laughs> Never mind, I'm thinking out loud before we draw a crowd. Reel it in, take it easy, there's no need to scream and shout. As far as I can see, my heart, think it's on to leave it here, so. Okay, so now I also decided to go ahead and try out, uh, get a new powder to see if I'd like it for my all over face powder because you know to balance out my highlighted portions and all of that so I went ahead and I got a bunch of MAC Pro Longwear pressed powders and um, I'm going to be trying out dark deep because I actually have dark from MAC and it's too light for my all over face powder so I had to go ahead and get a shade darker so I got dark deep and of course you know how the pressed powders look already so this is it trust me I don't want to feel no more definitely not bad at all and as you can see I toned down the highlighted portions on my cheek area with just overlapping it a bit I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased so far with what I am seeing so I'm just gonna use the same powder to kind of give my nose a contour now for my contour I got another MAC Press powder and this is Dark Deepest. This is Dark Deepest that I'm going in with. And you see how dark that is? So this is what I'm gonna use for my contour today. And I'm just gonna go along the hollows of my cheek. You know, nothing is looking too drastic and I really like how everything is looking on my skin, you know? Pretty good. So now I'm going to go ahead and bake. Unfortunately, I didn't get a new powder, a new loose powder to bake with. So, you know the usual already. Sasha Buttercup. I want bold eyes definitely going for that today so I got me a bunch of Morphe palettes but I'm only going to I'm only going to be using one today for this video I I'm using the Morphe 35B palette okay so I'm gonna first go in with this orange then I'm going to use this green here this green as well and these blues so yeah they don't have any names so yeah so I'm going to go in with the orange as my transition color first because I actually started off with the orange because I wanted it to be you know really warm so I'm just packing this um, green in the crease area I'm just gonna go ahead and base my um, 
eyelid, my lower eyelid with the same concealer I used to highlight earlier, just tapping a tad. I'm not really doing a cut crease or anything today, I just want the colors to blend together nicely, that's it. So I'm actually going to go in with this blue. See how that looks. Ooh, very pretty. As you guys can see, I really just erase that line so that we really don't get a cut crease look. I just want everything to fuse together beautifully and I'm loving how the colors are coming off. It's so pretty. I would always, always use Morphe eyeshadow palettes because they're just so bomb. They're just, the colors are always nicely pigmented. They blend well. They're just amazing and I love that. Now, I'm going to go on my lower lash line with a blue liner and then smoke it out with some of the same green I don't think I'm gonna win I'm going to um, do a wing today so I'm going to tight line I'm going to tight line my lower waterline and just line on top here normally. I'm not going to give it a wing today. And oh, I'm using <laughs> I'm using my Morphe. I used this in the past, but I ran out and so I just bought a brand new one. So this is a Morphe gel liner in slate. so that's it for you know shadows and liners and I absolutely love how this is looking I went ahead and I got flutter lashes and this is the ersatz um, this is the style crazed and it comes in a box like this same old same old ampli mascara for my lashes Today for my glow, I definitely switched it up. I decided to try out the BH Cosmetics Wild and Radiant Baked Illuminating and Bronzing Palette. This is so popular, like a lot of people have this, I'm pretty sure. It's so affordable. I, just, I, I was just so intrigued based on how I've been seeing a lot of people using it and it's just so beautiful. So I wanted to really try it out. So I'm actually going to go ahead and use these three here. I'm just going to, you know, swipe my brush. Okay, so I think it's a really nice golden glow, definitely. And to be so affordable with such quality, I think it's absolutely bomb. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my lips and with this bowl like popping eye right now, I just really want to go for a nude lip. For my lips, I'm going to go ahead and I'm using MAC Huggable Glass and this is Pleasure First and I'm using Talia Deluxe Deep Purple Liner to line my lips so it's going to give off a very, it's going to give off that ombre vibe, you know? That's 
pretty much it for this look. I am pretty pleased. I'm pretty pleased with how you know everything came out. Um, to be honest, I actually you know did my little research, and a lot of them I actually knew how they were like, how they are before I went ahead and bought because some of them I had before. Um, so yeah, but like the only thing, the only thing I'd say I like the least is the lashes. I really. I, I was hoping they'd like you know how you apply some lashes and you just see the they just flare and you see the style is like I'm fighting with these lashes to actually push them up but I don't know probably over time they'll probably take shape to my eyes and um, I like them more but I don't know um I really love the way the powders and everything are coming off and I must say I'm very very impressed with the BH Cosmetics bronzing and illuminating palette. I just didn't expect it to be honest to be so amazing. It's really nicely pigmented. I, I, I expected the glass, the lip glass from MAC to be more glossy. I don't know. As you guys know I love gloss. I love using gloss for my lips. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it go ahead and give it a thumb up and if you'd like for me to do more you know videos like this you know like first impressions or testing new stuff go ahead and let me know down in the comments section also let me know what other videos you like for me to do um doesn't have to necessarily be related to makeup um don't forget guys to turn on your bell the notification bell that's right beside of the subscribe button this is useful for when i upload you get notified right away because you know since lately youtube have been having a lot of glitches so some people when i post they're like they haven't seen my uploads until hours later and so if you go ahead and turn on this post notification bell that will um, notify you sooner so yeah go ahead and click that don't forget I upload every Monday Wednesday and Friday so stay tuned for more uploads and until next time bye No